Hey y'all, it's Alex from Little Hill Homestead. Are you getting tired of seeing me in the same outfit? I promise I do laundry. I've told you this before, but I try to do filming all in a, the same day. I do a bunch of videos in the same day because who actually wants to get dressed up every single day? I say that and then half the time you guys see me in my pajamas. Anyways, <laughs> today's video is going to be something that a lot of us use and don't realize how much crud there are in said product. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own version of makeup wipes. These are a makeup removing and cleansing cloth. That's what these ones are. These ones I got from Kroger because they're the fragrance free version and they were the cheapest to be able to show you guys a side by side. But anyways, these ones compared to the Neutrogena, they're fragrance free, they remove your makeup and there you go. But what you don't know is what's in these things. Okay, like these can get kind of expensive. Am I right? So, um, oh my gosh, I should have grabbed my reading glasses because I can't see. So if you guys ever look at these, the, the base ingredient's water. Okay, we have water, right? We got some glycerin. We have some aloe leaf, which we've, we can easily do on our own. We've got a ton of different guars and chemicals and chlorides and I can't even see this, you guys dimethicone which just makes things slide um but citric acid out al there's alcohol in these like who wants to put all this on your face you guys your skin is your biggest organ right and it absorbs all that so mm, they gone we're not going to use those no mas okay so for today's video i'm going to start by putting some makeup on my arm because i don't want to take the makeup off my face because i just told you that i don't do this every day and i have some videos to film so this is some waterproof mascara I'm just going to put on my arm. I hope it dries. This is some waterproof eyeliner. I did waterproof because we all know they're harder to get off. And then the last thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of my um, foundation on my arm. This is like a color changing foundation my sister gave me. It's the funkiest stuff. I love it though. But um, for people with sensitive skin, it's a really, really good option. So I'm going to rub that in just so you, I mean, you can see it because it's got stuff in it, but okay. I'm going to put this now. I have some towels over here. We'll just put it on there. Okay. So I'm going to let those dry during the video so that at the end I can rub them off, but they are all waterproof. They are all, I try to do some clean makeups, but there's certain products that I had in my drawer, like those that are still not clean, but the ones I use are clean. They're just harder to do waterproof versions of clean makeup. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. The first thing we're going to need is witch hazel. Witch hazel is going to be not only good for helping us take all this off, um, it's an astringent, it's great for your face, um, but you can use it as a toner. Did you know that? But it um, is cheap. There you go. So we're going to start with witch hazel. You need a half of a cup. I'm doing this just in a two cup measuring cup to make my life easy. The next thing you need is half of a cup of aloe vera i use the georges i've told you this a million times you guys can use whatever version you want just make sure that it does not have to be refrigerated you can use aloe vera gel as well half a cup aloe vera is soothing but it also like these are all things that once you put together you don't have to add citric acid or things to them to help make them shelf stable they're going to be just fine the next thing you need is coconut oil. You guys, this is fractionated coconut oil. If you want to use a different oil, it's, it's oily. Imagine that. Um, if you want to use a different oil in this, you can. You could use a sweet almond. You could use an avocado. You can use fractionated coconut, jojoba, whatever you want. I'm using this because you need a half of a cup. To do a half a cup of jojoba oil is going to get kind of pricey. Fractionated coconut oil is pretty reasonable. So is avocado. So that's why I'm going with this. Fraction in it just means it stays liquid form. It's not going to solidify like your other aloe veras. That's not aloe vera, you guys. It's coconut oil, right? Your brain. My brain. Okay, the last thing um, we need, can you believe it? We're putting some glycerin in here. This is going to help it glide on your skin very nicely, but it also kind of acts as a preservative. And all I'm going to do is add a little glug of it. Like, I'm not even going to measure. It's going to be not even a tablespoon, you guys. Maybe about a tablespoon. That's it. Say a tablespoon to make our lives easy. I forgot a, sp a spoon. Come on. I know. Don't use wood spoon in this stuff. I know. You guys tell me that all the time. Um, if I'm not willing to put it on my face, I shouldn't be willing to put it on my body, right? No, that is your body. 
If I'm not willing to have it on my food, never mind. You guys know what I mean. Just give it a little stir. I do not add essential oils to this. You can if you want to. I don't because you don't need it in this kind of a product when you're going to be using it um, to take makeup off and you're probably going to be washing your face and doing other kind of treatments to your face after the fact. Okay. Here's where we get fun, you guys. So we have a couple options for storage of this. You can put in a regular old jar and just use, you know, whatever. Um, these guys, I got a Dollar Tree. They are for, this one actually had nail polish remover in it, but look at the size difference for $1.25. I bought both so I could show you. There was a little thing on the top I had to take off, but all you would do with this is, I forgot to grab them. The little cotton pads that are like a circle that you just throw away, they come like a sleeve for a buck. Um, you just pump the top of this, put some on your cotton pad, and wipe your face like any makeup remover. If you want something that's more like the Neutrogena towels, you, get, you can use paper towels. Straight up paper towels. Just use them. Like pre-soak them, like in a, you know, whatever container, Tupperware or something. You totally can do that. I like to do things that are reusable because there's a purpose, right? So I wanted to show you a couple options. These are um, baby washcloths. Dollar Tree, it comes with four. They have unicorns. Who doesn't want a cute little unicorn in their life? Um, you can use something like that. Microfiber washcloths came with five for $1.25. Microfiber is great for helping take off makeup. Um, it's got kind of a texture to it that helps it come off. So same thing with those. Grab yourself a couple packs of those. After you use them, throw them in your wash and then put it back into said liquid or use them again once it's done. What I have is I have a pint and a half jar. Ball stopped making these and I'm super ticked because I love them. I use them for a lot and I'm super excited because if I haven't already done our Azure haul, I was able to get pint and a half jars again through Azure. And I'm super excited because they're supposed to be beautiful and nice and thick. But this is what I use is just these. These are reusable cotton rounds. Um, I like them because they wash really easily. I, they came with like this bag. All you do is pop them in the bag and then throw the, throw that into your washer. But I use a couple of these one or two, depending on how much makeup I have on that day to take it off. So all I do is I shoved all that came. I think there's, it came with 30, maybe I don't even know 25, whatever it came with. There's various options on Amazon. I just put them in my pint and a half jar. You can do it in a pint jar. My problem is by the time you add all those, not all the liquid fits. So it's not my favorite, but I'm giving this a stir. I'm just going to pour it right over the top. And they're going to soak down onto all of our pads. I like the pint and a half jar because I like to be able to shake it um, before I use them. It's taking its sweet time to get down there, but it is going through a lot of layers, you guys. Almost there. So I like to use the pre these ones because I can wash them and that's my personal preference. All I do is put a lid on. Sometimes this lid leaks. I like it because I can give them a shake to make sure that top one is saturated, which is usually the one I'm going to grab, but it also makes sure that the oil and the liquids are all absorbed in there. Okay. Are you ready for this? I, I'm not going to sing it today. You guys, I probably should. <laughs> so all that I do to use it is see it's, they've absorbed it now. It looks like cucumber slices or something. Um, all that I do to use it is I kind of squeeze off a little of the excess. I don't want quite so much. They are kind of not oily. The oil settles on the top. Um, so that's why this one's a little oilier. Let's try to grab one that's a little lower down. But I want a white one because I want you to be able to see that it's working. So I just squeeze a little off so it doesn't run. Here's our makeup that you can see on our arm. Squeeze a little off and then... Now remember this is waterproof, you guys. So... You gotta get a little extra scrub, but do you see it? Do you see it on there? I love it. Comes right off. It doesn't have anything that's gonna hurt your skin. And look at that, you guys. Like, mm hmm. Can I tell you? There you go. So those are our makeup remover wipes. I love it because I just throw them in the washing machine, um, like I was saying. And then when I do my wash, which I probably need to do like weekly, but who wants to do wash every week? So you just buy more underwear. Am I wrong? No. 
the things you just shouldn't admit, right? Um, anyways, so I throw these in with my wash, and then when I do my wash, it cleans them. Um, sometimes they do leave stains. That's just the nature of makeup. Um, but should I really be cleaning my cutting board with this? No, probably not. But um, these do get a little bit dirty. Over time, just replace them. They're not very expensive. Um, I think these ones are like eight bucks. And I've had them forever. But um, but if you're worried about it, just go with one of these options. And like I said, you can either use cotton rounds on the pump, put it in a jar and just kind of dunk this in it, wring it out and put it on your microfiber cloth. You kind of have options, which is the nice part, right? I love it when I give you guys options. So there are our makeup remover wipes. Who's impressed? Who wants that on their face? Me, every day. But yeah, you can use it in your eyes. It takes your foundation off. Nice and clean at the end of the day. After I use them, I tend to wash my face with our face wash and then do my nightly routine like I would, but it takes the makeup right off your face. I will say, what is, oh, now I'm going to forget the name of it. Pons, what is Pons cream? My mother-in-law is beautiful, and she has used this cream on her face to remove her makeup every single day of her life since she was like a teenager, and I can't think of the name of it. Cleansing cream, Pond's cleansing cream. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Anyways, this is our version of that. But um, if you guys use something like that, I mean, hey, do you do you, right? But for me, I like this because we know what's in it. It doesn't have alcohol, which I think is so strange to put on your skin because that's just going to dry you out. But um, other things too, like read what's in your Neutrogena one. Plus the scent on those, whoo, this literally has no smell. <laughs> like everything that's in it is a non-scented item, so... Anyways, that is it for our makeup remover wipes. Yeah, pretty. Um, go make some. Let me know what you think of it. If you guys make your own makeup remover wipes or have a cool idea on how you use it, let me know below. I'd love to hear it. But if you have not subscribed, do so. I can never remember. It's somewhere down here near our name, I believe. And then if you want the exact recipe, hit the more button down here and it will uh, drop down and give you the full recipe. And then they always post a couple videos like here and here of things that we've done or things they think you might wanna see. So go ahead and watch more videos, why not, right? Who doesn't love to hang out with me? Anyways, that is it you guys. For the 17th time, we're actually ending this video now. Thanks for watching.